Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to extend our uh, application and we are going to add uh, a data grid view into this application and then we will uh, retrieve or populate this git data grid view from database. So let's start. So I'll go to this uh, toolbox and uh, I'll search data grid view. So it is here data grid view. I'll drag it and now we will expand this. I'll expand it to this side to this side as well as to top and then we will take it to bottom as well now this is our data grid view now we will go to this uh, form and we will double click on this form to create its click event so form man form load event is uh, created now we will go to our database so this is our database we will select the records or see the records in this uh, table so we have these two records in this table so we will go we will uh, try and load these two records into our data grid view now we have to create a new uh, new uh, stored procedure so for that i will come to the stored procedure and click on this and uh, new stored procedure and now i'll control a this backspace this and now we will create a new stored procedure to so create proc uh, get uh, student student data and then we will if we have any parameter we will use here but we do not have any parameter so I will use as and then begin and then we have the select uh, statement so for that I will come here and I will copy this uh, select statement up to the end and I'll we'll control C this and we will go here uh, to store procedure and now I'll control V it here and I will uh, remove this 1000 and this stuff from it now as we have removed that uh, we have removed the select statement as well so select now this is good now as you can see uh, if I show you the table we have uh, I execute this control a execute now we have this uh, scaled in C sharp one zero so if we retrieve one zero in a day in our data grid view so the user who uh, who is going to use this application will not understand that what this one and zero means so we have to change it so for that we will come to the stored procedure and I'll use here case and uh, when case is, is scale then when one so then uh, uh, yes he is scaled yes or capital yes when zero then uh, no no and and as now this will be the column name shown in our grid view as and I'll pass in the column name here so scale and C sharp so this will be this column a column name so the same we will do for Java and Python so case and uh, when one then yes when zero then 
no and um, similarly we will end this and uh, as um, scaled in java and then we have uh, this one case and uh, this one we will go here and when one so we'll use yes and uh, um, when then we have to use then here and uh, when when zero and we will use no and uh, end as uh, skilled in python okay so now this is done i'll make this no and here i will use then when zero then so now this is uh, done similarly we will uh, do the same for this uh, gender so case and when so we have what in what gender so if i come here so in gender we have one and two so one is male and two is female so for that we will come here to this and uh, case uh, when one so then uh, male and uh, when two then female and uh, and is on this and now I'll make this gender and uh, similarly we will convert this uh, data but if I show you this data but now you can see we have this zero zero time and uh, we have this uh, 27922 so we want a custom format for this so for that i will come here and uh, i will uh, use convert and uh, work out, comma data birth and comma uh, 103 and as date d o b or i will make this o capital as well b data birth so now you we have to convert this time as well so convert word and uh, I'll make this work car as well comma and here we'll we'll use the time permit 109 um, as admission admission time and uh, let me show you these formats that one, 103 and 109 come, comes from here. So if we go to this uh, browser and if I open this, so we have this, uh, uh, this web page open. So we have these uh, formats here. Now you can see here they use uh, 9As. So the uh, date will be shown as month day year and then time as well and if you use 10 
then it will be used month day and year so we have used uh, 103 so I'll show you 103 so if we go down so this is 103 so it will show us date slash month slash year and we have used 109 if I show you 109 so it will uh, we have to use 108 not 109 which will show us hours minutes and seconds so I'll go again to this uh, server management studio and I'll make this 108 now I will use end here at the end of this but we have to use uh, energy to select the district from district uh, table so here I will use enter join and um, I'll use a uh, district table and I will uh, name this district table as uh, uh, D And I will name this uh, std table as uh, s for simps uh, for simplicity. So, and here we will use on, and then the uh, column that is uh, uh, uses foreign key in this and primary key is in this district table, which is this district ID. So, on um, s dot district ID. district ID equals to uh, D dot district ID and here we will make this column as uh, district name and uh, we will use uh, D with it D dot and we will use S dot with every column of this uh, student table s dot and uh, space s dot s dot s dot s dot and then s dot so now our store procedure is completed so we will execute this and let's see if it is working so our store procedure uh, completed successfully so I'll copy this control C this and now we will go to our visual studio here and to this main form load and here we will use our connection string so first we will get the connection strings uh, form configuration file so I'll copy it from this uh, uh, registration form and the save and I'll copy it I will copy the code first I will copy this from the top control C this and now I'll come to our main form dot cs and I'll uh, control V it here and now we will go and get the uh, code from this registration form so here I will come to this and now we will get the code up to here control C this and we will uh, control V it in our main form dot cs file so we will control V it. Uh, we will make some space, and now we will control V it here. Now our code is uh, complete, but we have to put a curly brace at the end of this. Now it is still showing an error here, so we will put another one another curly brace and now the code is uh, ready so now we will use the command here so we will use cmd uh, 
now first we will change this uh, stored procedure because later on that will make problem so I'll control it here control Z uh, control Z and now I'll go here to this and I'll copy the stored procedure name again so I'll copy this and we will go here I'll control V it here and now we will write the rest of the code so cmd dot command uh, type which is uh, cmd dot uh, e equals command type dot stored procedure semicolon and now we will execute this so we will use this this cable uh, data reader this cable data reader reader equals uh, cmd dot execute reader and now I'll put semicolon at the end now now we have to load this uh, uh, reader data into a data table so for that I will create a data table here so data table on dt equals new data uh, table and now we'll put semicolon here and uh, here we will use dt dot load and here we will pass in the reader so now the data is loaded into our reader so now we will uh, assign this uh, dt to our uh, uh, grid view as uh, data source so if i click here and if i go down so if i now if i select this it will show us the end of our uh, this pound load event so this is so here we will add this dt to our uh, uh, data grid view but first let me get the name of the data grid view so if i go here i'll rename this dvg student so now if i go to form main.cs and now if i here use d v g students dot data source equals to dt semicolon and that's it now if i run this now you can see that both the records are uh, added into our uh, data grid view if I go to the side now you can see that we have uh, retrieved the district name from the district table and you can see that it is showing the time as well as the date in the format we have given the, this now we can add more uh, data and then we can retrieve it into this data grid view now if i select this and if i select this now it is not selected in the full row if i select here then it select the full row now we will put some uh, properties on to this uh, data grid view in our next tutorial so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you